Tuesday, March 15th is Local Filmmakers Night. Let's find out what that's all about. I'm happy to welcome into the studio Humboldt County Film Commissioner Cassandra Hesseltine, along with filmmaker Joshua D. Nelson and uh, Sam Kaplan of Access Humboldt. Welcome to the homepage, you three. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Let's talk about this really interesting event and just on the heels of the Oscars. That's pretty good timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we think so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, well, basically what this event is, is for us to acknowledge our local filmmakers and support them in the work that they're doing. We have a lot of local filmmakers here who are very talented and do a lot of work and try to stay in the area to be able to continue to do their art. And so as film commissioner, one of my jobs is to support the local filmmakers besides help them out with permits or locations of filming or any of those other aspects of when they actually make the film. But we also came up with the idea of that we wanted to support screening their work. So we teamed up with Access Humble, um, and Sam Kaplan is here to talk a little bit about Access Humble, uh, in, in to putting this idea together where how could the two entities who um, both work close with a lot of these film and digital media makers, how could we come together and support them? What a great idea. Yeah. yeah that's really terrific. Sam, why don't you talk a little bit about Access Humboldt? Tell us about Access Humboldt, Sam. Well, so Access Humboldt is a community media center on the campus of Eureka High School, and we also manage four channels on the Sunlink cable network, so that's 8, 10, 11, and 12. So we have our channels, and we have our online content, you can see all of our videos at video.accesshumboldt.net, but we don't do a lot out in the community so far to support aspiring media makers from the area. So hmm. we thought teaming with the Film Commission would be a good way to start doing that. Wow. How long have you been involved with that? Uh, since August when I started working there. Great. And Joshua, you're a filmmaker? I am the filmmaker that they're going to be uh, honoring on the 15th. Well, and congratulations. I think, thank you so much. Which film will you be presenting? Well, I'm going to start um, with the reel of all the works that I've done. And uh, then I'm going to go into a short film that I had a chance to shoot back in 2008 called Pier 41. And that's a short film narrative about a young high school boy who's dealing with a lot of the oppressions from his peers. And he doesn't know how to express himself necessarily without using violence. Hmm. So he has to realize that uh, violence cannot end violence and it only just perpetrates the cycle. And uh, I don't want to give away the ending, but that's, that's what I'm going to be screening there as well as another short film that I did with some friends just for fun. And how did these two, Cassandra and Sam, find you, or did you find them? Well, it's a funny story. Cassandra just reminded me the other day of how, how we met. She uh, saw me and my friend uh, just walking around as college students and uh, tried to snag us for a commercial, I think it was. Yeah, I was casting time. at the time for uh, a, a big commercial. I think it was Goodyear I think, Tire. I think it was a, a yeah, Tire commercial, Goodyear yeah. Goodyear Tire came up here, and I was casting for them at the time. And right. You just and, saw him? And saw him and saw, said, hey. Exactly, right? And, yeah. and she gave us her card and, mm -hmm. and told us what she was doing, and I was like, well, that's seems useful since I happen to be a filmmaker. So as That's I started destiny, buddy. Exactly. So as I started moving into pre production for this film Pure Forty One, she was the first person I gave a call for wow. casting and she was able to help me get the film with all the actors and she did an amazing job. Thank you. Uh, I love working with her. I think she's great as the film commissioner and what a great job, yeah. film commissioner. It's pretty fun. Yeah, <laughs> tell us what that all entails. You you do f uh, you know logistics for films out of the area as well as local. Correct production. Yeah, yeah. we're basically the county approved liaison for any um, filmmakers, whether they're local or out of town, uh, to help them with permits, accommodations. Uh, restaurants, mm -hmm. any of those elements that they need to find when they're filmmaking. You and know. how did you get involved with this? Um, I had been on the board previously for a couple years as a person who was in, in the business. I joined the board and was helping evolve them with, they became a nonprofit and helped uh, evolve the film commission and into the entity it is now. And then I actually hadn't been a part of it for a year and a half. Um, and then when Mary Cruz, who was uh, the film commissioner prior, who was excellent, um, when she stepped down to move on to do production, I was asked to come back and, and um, take take on the position. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk more about the event. There's going to be a Q&A as well. Is that true? There is. There's going to be a Q&A with Joshua for afterwards where people can find out, ask him questions and find out more about what he's done. Because we did pick Joshua um, for a couple of different reasons. He is an example of a local filmmaker as an HSU graduate in the film department. He went on to do 
to continue to make independent films here. He made a couple big ones. Um, Flea was one of them this yeah, last summer. Yeah, Flea was the probably the biggest film I've ever worked on, and that was the one we did back uh, in July. Mm. Uh, and that was with Susan, and she's an amazing woman, and, and gave me an opportunity to not only do that, but A River of Skulls, which is another one that we premiered mm-hmm. here, and that was involving a lot of humble talent. I'd like to say, because we shot it in Calaveras, but everyone who was a part of it was from Humboldt County. And uh, we even got to work with your, your My uncle. uncle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was an actor in the mm-hmm. film. So <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And I definitely, uh, at the mm-hmm. event, I'm going to talk about that because I know a lot of people mm-hmm. uh, who were here were involved. And I want to kind of let them know where these projects are and, and where we're going with and them. And the Q&A mm-hmm. is at Eureka High School in the lecture hall. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. And what time is that? It, it will follow the follow. screening. So, okay. the, so this whole, is all on Tuesday, March fifteenth, starting at seven. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they'll be able to, you'll be able to ask him questions about um, all these different things that he's done, and, and then he's also the advisor for the HSU Film Festival. So all of that will be part of the Q and A nice. of how he's a, pretty much a good example of what a, a local filmmaker is like. Tell us something else, Sam. Um, well, so the screening will be in the lecture hall, which is on the Eureka High Campus, as we mentioned, but um, we just moved into that space at Eureka High School last November, and we're really excited to have people come by more because we have a pretty beautiful facility with a great studio. And Cassandra is mentioning that we also have door prizes, which is a, a crucial <laughs> element. Um, we got sponsoring prizes. from uh, Figueritos and Spotlight and also La Dolce Video. Okay. So we'll have uh, door prizes, and I think the idea is that we're going to have some local film trivia to determine who gets those door prizes. Okay, um, so it looks like exciting. you're going to have some goodies too, bagels and some food. Right, mm-hmm. we've got, uh, I believe it's five different sponsors that we've got mm-hmm. that are going to be helping with the catering, mm-hmm. so it definitely should be a scrumptious evening afterwards as well. And is this something you can just show up at the door, or do you need a reservation? Tell us how we can uh, make sure and not miss this evening. They can show up at the door. Okay. Yeah. And you That's do have fun. a phone number, 825 825- Seven six hundred for more information. Correct. Okay. Yeah, pretty cool. I I think filmmaking, it's got to be one of the coolest things out. We think so. <laughs> I I would agree. Yeah, it's a great way to to not only have fun but kind of escape and and do a lot of things that you can only imagine in your dreams. Mm-hmm. But they realize on the big screen, and we all like to do that. So uh, why not why not keep it going? Why not keep it going here in Humboldt County? <laughs> and, you know, a good film changes a person's life. You see something, mm-hmm. you relate to it, and it really has such a huge impact, I think. I think so, too. If it wasn't for movies, I I would probably be doing something Not as lot. interesting? <laughs> probably not. I, I'd probably be a doctor somewhere or something like that. So uh, this is well, way more fun. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're we're very happy to be promoting filmmakers because we do, like you said, it does definitely change lives when people watch it, and we also want to encourage people here to to continue to build their craft, but also to be seen as somebody who can make an income doing this. Mm-hmm. So you know, we're hoping that we can support the local filmmakers in 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 honoring them and also helping them find jobs and job creation. Too. And I mean, there are a lot of jobs in a film, and so do local filmmakers get grants? How how do you put together a budget? It for a film well that's that's the golden question i think i think we're all mm-hmm. still trying to figure that one out ourselves but i mean this is such a great uh starting ground to to have this you know have the people get out there because i've had a, a chance to work with a lot of the local filmmakers and there's a lot of talent out there mm-hmm. and now that we have this venue to to screen our materials i'm hoping that it will open opportunities for us to to fund our own films independently and continue from there so it's really a screening room, is it? Yeah, it's a screening room. I think it was built a few years ago. It has surround sound. Um, it's a great um, drop-down screen. It's it's really designed to screen work, so it's pretty beautiful. And Eureka High School, most people know where it is, but the corners of... Well, the high school is at 1915 J Street in Eureka, and the, the lecture hall, the closest intersection, would be Humboldt and K Streets. Okay. Final thoughts? We're just about out of time. I just I just hope that filmmakers start to see Access Humboldt as a resource for them because we, we have equipment for them to check out and we offer courses to train them in how to make films. And so we're hoping that when they come by, they'll see that we have all that to offer and the Film Commission does as well. And how do we how do we get a hold of you if we want more information about Access Humboldt? Uh, we're available on the web at accesshumboldt.net or you can call 707-476-1798. Sam Kaplan of Access Humboldt, Cassandra Hessel- Hesseltine, thank you for joining thank us Can I today. mention one more thing? Are we sure. out of time? Go ahead. We are. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, So for people who can't make the event and can't catch it on the big screen, we'll also be screening the work probably daily on our channels. 
Um, and we'll have more information about that later. Okay. And they'll also be on our website at video.accesshumble.net. Nice. Final thought, Cassandra? I just appreciate you having us here, and I appreciate uh, working with Access Humboldt. This has been a great partnership to put this event on, and I really hope a lot of the community comes down to, to see Joshua's film. He's a talented mm-hmm. filmmaker. And Joshua D. Nelson, final thought? Final thoughts. I just uh, hope that this is a good event that people enjoy and watch movies and that we continue to do in Humboldt County. Also come out to the Humboldt Film Festival, which is going to be here in the Banduzi Theater from May 1st to the 7th. That's going to be another opportunity to watch local films and uh, local filmmakers. And I will be on the first. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Thank mm-hmm. you, you three. Very interesting topic today. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you very Thank much. You so Thank you so much.